all right y'all so welcome back to the channel in this episode we're gonna get some turkey hunting done um i went out turkey hunting three times and was unsuccessful all but one so i'm just gonna take you on the successful day the first two days were really uneventful so this uh, video is just gonna start with uh, me hunting a turkey and getting a turkey um and just kind of the little story that happened on that day and how it all went down so uh we got a beard a nice beard from him and uh yeah let's get into it thank you so much for watching consider subscribing let's go turkey hunting Well, I blew it. I got, I just couldn't see him. I got so close and I cracked the stick and he shut up and I didn't want to move because I figured he was locked in on me. I couldn't see him. So I waited five minutes. That's all he needed. That's all he needed to get out of there. So I headed back over to my original spot because my backpack, my decoys, I got stuff over there. Wouldn't that be something if I get down to my decoys and there's a gobbler giving them the business <laughs> but it's not that far I just traveled through the woods but I blew it with that turkey there's more hopefully we'll get lucky but we'll see it's almost 10 o'clock and I just heard a bird over where that other bird was I just came that I chased around for a little while one gobbler same place I answered him but I don't know if I'm gonna answer him again See what happens. See what he does. Never know. All right, I moved. I am taking a risk because there's cows out in this field. They could come over here and push me out of here, pretty much. But that gobbler, I heard, if he's gonna come down anywhere, it's gonna be through this little valley where the creek is. So just sit and wait, and we'll see.
kind of stop for me. with my foot on his head for a while there it is oh, I can't tell yet dude this bird this bird so I was set up over here this bird came out over here he didn't gobble the whole time until he got here I answer him he's coming closer I'm like sweet and then a real hen starts clucking behind me oh my adrenaline's going and I'm watching her and I said you know what if she tries to go for it if she tries to go across this creek, I'm going to try to cut her off. And that's what she did. She flew across. So I cut her off, ran up through this brush, stuck my head up over top of that embankment. And sure enough, I seen him. So as soon as I know he's done for, I'll show you what he looks like. Oh, getting down to the wire. I left my phone. I left all my gear over there. So small little hike back to there. Make sure he's done. Let's see if I can get a hold of his beard here. Oh yeah, he's, he's still kicking. I'll get with you in a minute. All right, y'all, we got him. I believe we're good. Uh, he's a big bodied bird. Let's check out his spurs. Got some nice spurs on him. I wonder if this is the one from earlier, because uh, he came from the same direction. But decent beard. I don't know if he's quite as big as the one I got last year, but I don't care. He's a full mature Tom. Beautiful colors. We played the game this morning. It's the game I love. <laughs> Sweet. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get all my gear and start heading back to the truck. I actually get to watch my nieces today. So I get to take this bird over to my niece's house and show them what it looks like. We'll see how interested they are in maybe cleaning it. I doubt they're going to be interested in that. But I feel like I got rain coming, so I'm going to get moving. But, uh success pa gobbler got it done on my third outing this is the second saturday of pa so i don't even know what day it is may i want to say 10th but that might be wrong i'll check that so we got it done let's get it tagged and get moved what do you think of that it's about as big as you let's see if it's as big as brielle all right here we go let's see come here stand yeah it's not gonna do nothing this is as big as you <laughs> Jeez. We're going to get your feather too, Brielle. It's now it's a little stiff. It's not as interesting. Oh, and it's, and it's, it's so, dead. It's soaking wet, by the way. You don't want to touch it? You're scared. Look. Well, oh, a beard. She's such a beard. Yeah. Turkeys, male turkeys have beards. <laughs> it's wet now, so it's not as interesting. It's not as interesting. So, last time. Yes. We got you oh, a feather from here. Look at this. It's wet. Ew. That's so cool. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, don't you want one of the, you want one of these ones? Yeah. You want to sit? Stand. Here. Boopy, you're short. Last time I got one of these ones. Does it feel weird? <laughs> All right, y'all. So, Turkey's back in the house. He weighs almost 22 pounds, which is a really big bird. He's really full. Um, let me show you here. This is how I measure my, wherever that skin meets that hair. Whoa, sorry. Should I say feather? So at the longest point, we're looking at mm, nine and seven eighths. So, I mean, almost, I'd say, I'd say it like almost a 10 inch beard. And then spurs from the tip to the base, inch and an eighth. I'm just using regular tape. This ain't nothing official. This one's more like an inch and a sixteenth, so mature bird. That's all I'm worried about. And also I'm gonna show you how I take the beard off of a bird. So I actually seen a video where a guy was cutting them. I don't know why you would do that. So let's see if I can get down in his where you can see it really good. If you start putting tension on your bird's beard, you're gonna notice the skin starts to pull. And it's just one nice gentle pull, a lot of pressure. You're gonna take this thing right out of there. No cutting, no nothing like that. When you pull it, you're gonna make a cap out of it. There you go. The key to this, it's kind of like whenever you split the tail on a fox or your coyotes. The key to this is holding it nice and tight. So I'll clean that out. Make sure I don't have any meat or cartilage. And in this section right here, I'll just take super glue and fill it up, let it dry. That way we have, um, you know, a little trophy you got the meat you got the little memorabilia from it let's measure it like this yeah it's safe to say that it's a 10 inch beard so 10 inch beard on that bird that's how easily that popped out hey now i'm no pro turkey hunter i'm no pro turkey caller so if you're watching this and you're like man that guy really sucks at calling i do <laughs> i still get a bird and that's all that i care about so so uh, and bonehead trapping here coming up soon i'm gonna have some tannin videos coming out for some beaver hides and some things like that but i'm also gonna start doing not a vlog but kind of like a weekly video on all my fishing stuff um i'm just gonna title them you know fishing for this like right now i've already got video for trout fishing crappie fishing bass fishing bluegill i'm kind of just been fishing for all these different critters and uh i really don't think i have like a good idea as to what the video should be about so i'm just going to show efficient so i'm just going to release them every week throughout the summer and some tanning videos and maybe some uh catch and cook so once again thank you so much for watching god bless and i'll see you in the next one